Hey guys, it's here and welcome to Python tutorial number four. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, getting input from the user. Uh, so go ahead and open up the Python idle again. We're still in there in the Python shell, um, and there are two ways to get raw in, uh, to get input. Sorry, <laughs> almost gave something away there. Uh, there are two. Um, they're functions, but don't worry about functions just yet. Uh, I'll tell you their functions, but I don't want you to uh, go trying to figure out what a function is, because we will get onto those eventually. Um, but there are two functions which can retrieve input from the user. So let's cover the first one. The first one we're going to look at is the input function. Now we don't just type input, we have to type two parentheses, two uh, braces, um, and that's because it's a function, but again, don't worry about that too much just now. Uh, and in between these braces, we are allowed to supply a string, uh, which will prompt prompt the user basically. So we can not put anything, and then nothing would be prompted, but we'd still get the input. Or we can put like something like "please input something," and then we can put a colon in there. And if we just run this, press enter, you can see we get our prompt back and uh, our cursor is still flashing so we can type something in. Okay, now here we can see something. We get a name error, name hello is not defined. I'm not going to talk about that just now, but there is a reason that pops up and there is uh, it's something to do with the function itself. Uh, but for now, let's look, um, if we just type input, again, we don't get a prompt. Um, and try entering a string, you know, with the quotes as well. And then we get that it outputs that string. Um, and we can put in numbers as well. So, a bunch of numbers. Okay, there we go. So, uh, and finally, I'll just do it for the sake of it. We can input Boolean values, okay? Uh, but remember, they have to be capitalized still. Um, now, at the moment, we're getting this input, but there's no way to, we don't have a way to store it. We just get it for that split second and then we, where it's outputted, so we can still see it. But in a proper program, it wouldn't be outputted again. That's just because we're using the idle. The idle does that, okay? So how do we store the uh, stuff the user gives us? Well, quite simply, we use variables like we learned about uh, in the last tutorial. So let's make a variable x again and we're just going to assign it to uh, and we're going to assign it to the function input because when we run input um, in the statement actually um, if we run the statement okay what's happening is x doesn't get the function input what happens is when the user inputs something uh, and presses enter once the user presses enter then the input function will give us back a value, okay? And that value will go into x. So really, when we say x equals input, that's not actually what's happening. We're saying x equals run input and get the stuff back from input and then say x equals that stuff, okay? So let's try writing again, hello world, okay? And now let's just output x. We get hello world, the string, okay? And if we print x, we still get hello world. So there we go. That's how to um, store input. Now the second function we have is raw input. Raw underscore input. It works exact exactly the same way we can supply it a prompt. You can see there I get this pop-up which says prompt. And it's between those square brackets because we don't actually have to supply it. We can supply it if we want to. It's optional. Uh, and so anyway, uh, if we put our prompt into something Okay, and let's enter uh, hello again. Wait a minute, how how come it just accepted that when above, in using the input function and we put hello, we got a name error, but here it works and then it outputs it as a string. Okay, the reason is because that it's in the name of the function. This is raw input and this is input. When we use the input function, it expects perfectly formatted output. That means if we want uh, to give it a string, we have to give it a Python legal string. So the string would have to be between quotes, okay? 
uh, and for numbers and stuff it doesn't matter because numbers don't have to be between quotes mainly it's just about strings but it has to be proper input okay um, also if we had some flying quotes or something uh, let's say with the input function uh, we have hello or hello actually let's do it with a uh, hello she said and if we enter that we get a syntax error or oh, actually sorry we shouldn't have done that not quite uh, there we go close quote oh no wait I shouldn't have closed it should I no that was okay I should have closed it yep we get a syntax error no matter what we do anyway uh, when in actual fact we were just trying to put quotes around this um, so that's something we're going to talk about uh, in a second but not just now um, whereas if we tried to do this in raw input and we just put hello she said it accepts that and it puts it into a string okay as you can see there so um, basically raw input uh, allows it accepts um, input which is raw and unformatted so like hello outside of quotes that's unformatted because it's a string but it's not out it's not um, it's not inside quotes uh, but input doesn't accept unformatted uh, input I guess um, so that has its advantages though if you can see above here we got a name error when we tried to enter hello um, name error actually means there is no variable called hello so let's just make a variable quickly we have x equals 5 and then we'll call input okay and we'll type x we get back the value 5 because in this case when something's out outside of quotes in Python if you just type print x uh, outside of quotes um, we get back the value 5 uh, and when we type in x um, we, uh, after we've called the input function we get back 5. The reason is because if in Python if something isn't between quotes it assumes it's either a keyword like um, like print or something. Print is a keyword you see uh, because if you, you put print and then something after it, it well you don't even have to put something after it if you type print and enter uh, something will happen so it either searches for a keyword or it searches for um, a variable name okay so in this case input accepts um, input as if it's as if you're typing it into the actual file or the Python file okay so if you type X in the input you will actually get back uh, the value inside the variable x if it exists okay um, so we're gonna cover something quickly now which uh, is pretty important and that is escaping s quotes okay now we briefly um, saw something happened when we typed this sorry here we go um, and you can see if, if I just type it again actually I'll type just copy and paste. You can see the highlighting's a bit funny here. All of this should be green, shouldn't it? Uh, and the reason is, remember how I said you have to open and close a string with the same quotes, uh, with the same type of quotes? Well, here, if we look at the string, if we scrutinize it properly, we can see 